So here you can find the so why we require to go for the point to mm step. Okay, the so point to mm step required whenever there is a condition of removing core and cavity, and in that case, the part will be at vertical face. Okay, so if you just check something like this, we're going to be have part. Something like this, we have the part with respect to that. You can check here, you're going to be other fillet. Now, what will be the core and cavity? So, if you just check, core and cavity will be something like this. Okay, so this will be the one portion, this will be the another portion. Okay, so this portion we can name it as a core okay and the bottom portion we can name as a cavity okay so this is a concern from the classes side so if you just check closely at this particular point at this particular point we have a sharp edge okay so if you consider the part having a length okay so part having a length like this when you come from this, okay, something like this, we're going to be a part. Okay, with respect to that, you can check. We're going to be have this length part. Okay, so this we have the length part, and with respect to that, okay, so with respect to that. This periphery is very, very difficult to maintain. Okay, so which periphery? So whatever we have the cap. So there will be another surrounding part we're going to be have. Okay, so consider there is another part. So this part is going to be have some gap. Okay. Then we're going to be have something like this mass section. Okay, so suppose this interface is something like this. This will be one part. There will be another part, something like here. So the gap throughout the periphery, it needs to get maintained. Okay, so gap throughout the periphery, suppose this will be going to be have the condition, and similarly, this will be the profile we're going to be have. So gap throughout the periphery need to get maintained. So there should not be something like change in gap condition, okay? So when we have this particular edge, this particular edge on core and cavity separation, so there might be chances the deviation will be occur as the core and cavity moving in this particular area due to the motion or due to the changes over here into the core and cavity sliding okay so due to that there might be chances we can have over here the deviation on sharp edge okay so this is a one case so now what will be the solution to that okay the solution to that is nothing but we're going to be have step over here So you can check something like this. We're going to be add step. So this is a recommended from a supplier. You can have the step over here in this area. So step will be of point two in this area. With respect to that, you're going to be have this condition. Okay, something like this. We're going to be have. Point to mm step, we're going to be have something like this area. You can find there will be something like this area. Then you can check from this to this, we have a condition. So, this point to mm step, what it make a point to mm step? So, whatever we're going to be have this core, it will be now till this. Okay, it will be now 
till this or something like this we are going to be get remove the core area okay so this is nothing but the portion of core so if we just check if we remove the part if we remove the part and just keep core and cavity what will be remain okay you can find so first case was first case was we have this condition where the core and cavity where the core and cavity directly meeting on edge okay so this will be the case the core and cavity directly meeting onto the edge and this will be core okay so the meeting onto the edge and due to that whenever it going to be get travel in upside or the downside whenever they travel to separate the part there might be chances there is a deviation onto this gap condition with the surrounding part so while keeping this point mm step while keeping this point mm step or point 1 point 2 depending upon the supplier so this value will be point 1 or point 2 or point 5 okay or point not not 5 so this will be depend upon the supplier how accurate he is to create that but this is a recommended by the supplier this value of flat land so with respect to that if you just check we can move this upside okay if you move this upside on the downside even that any variation over there while moving while motion so this edge will be inside and there is no deviation onto the border okay so this periphery gap with surrounding part gap with surrounding part will be always kept proper okay got it anyone having doubt yes any doubt over here why are we going to be at this step